In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to master your song in FL Studio in less than 5 minutes. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. What's up guys, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Mastering can be so complex, there are a lot of aspects that can be considered. We can do compression we can do limiting EQing and all those things so today's video is a brief one I'm just going to do some basics just to show you how you can master in a short period of time so as you can see this is my mix down right here I've selected the loudest part of my mix as you can see so that it keeps looping and then if I double click on this I'll send it to track number one I'll go to my mixer I'll just put an EQ parametric EQ then just make it bigger like that take this all the way to 100 days then drop it not more than negative 3 db so if you look at the value up here the reason i've done this is i just want to reduce a little bit of the low end just to give it that clarity and then on the high end I'll drag this all the way to somewhere 5k and then push it up not more than negative 3 somewhere 2.5 i can just play this all right so that's cool and then i'll just remove this and add a limiter so the reason i'm adding a limiter is because i want to limit the peaks the peaks are not consistent as you can see they are close but not consistent so i want to limit them so that we have a consistent flow of sound for me to know what i'm doing i'm going to add a plugin called mv meter i'm going to play this check for my maximum peak then reduce it by negative three or not more than negative three so let me just play this <laughs> My maximum peak is negative 0.2. On my limiter, I'm just going to use this ceiling here and bring it down until I see that my maximum peak is somewhere negative 3. So let's just play that. So you can see now that my maximum is negative 3.1. Then I'm going to add maximus right here. We're just going to use maximus to boost our loudness to the standard loudness. We're going to use a plugin called Yulin Loudness Meter to monitor our loudness. So this is the plugin here. The standard loudness we're going for is negative 9 LUFS. We're going to be pushing the pre-gain here until we see something like negative nine here. So you can download this meter, I'll leave the link in the description below. So now we have our loudness which is negative 9.3 and this is the loudness that we were aiming for. So loudness depends on the platform that you are really aiming for. So for example if you are going for streaming sites, Spotify, YouTube and so on, they have different acceptable loudness. I'm going to put the chart somewhere here on the screen so that you see what I'm talking about. So the negative 9.3 loudness that we're aiming for is the loudness for club mixes and these normal songs that we listen to on a daily basis. This is done. All you have to do now is just export your mix. Right here you can export both as WAV and MP3 files. So just make sure you've clicked enable inset effects and enable master effects. On the quality here, 
resampling. You just set this to high quality, which is somewhere 64. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Let's interact from there. See you in my next video and I'm out.